Hi everyone and welcome back to Rachel's Enchanting Cakes. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a bow completely from cake lace. Now don't worry if you don't have any cake lace mats because you can just use baking parchment and have a normal bow without the pattern on. So you would just need to buy some cake lace. The fantastic thing about these bows is they are so lightweight compared to fondant and really, really thin. Now cake lace kind of sets in different stages. So we make the bow whilst it's still flexible. And then I simply placed mine in the oven at 50 degrees centigrade until it goes lovely and hard. But you could place yours directly onto a cake whilst it was still flexible and then just leave it to set. As always, everything you know in a simple step-by-step -step format. Let's make a start. Because I'm choosing to have a pattern on my actual bow, I take a cake lace mat with a pattern that's on there. Now, this is the Mantilla mat by Sugar Bale. You then simply place on a colour of your choice. Now, something I did learn from this, I wanted mine to be a lovely metallic pink, but because of the black soaking into it, it actually ended up being silver. So it was just as beautiful. The metallic pink would work with other colours, such as white, or maybe blue, whatever other colour that you're wanting to use, but do bear that in mind. So I start by using the ready-made cake lace by Claire Bowman. I'm using the pink metallic and I simply spread this all over my mat until it's lovely and even. I then leave this overnight to set naturally. Whilst that is to one side setting, here I have 80 ml of water, and 82 gram of the part A powder that you will find in the cake lace that you make yourself by Claire Bowman. I start by adding the 82 gram of the powder directly to the water and I mix on high for two minutes. Now part B, which comes in this little pot, you simply add directly to the mixture that you have just done. So for this, you will need one teaspoon in total. And then again, beat on high, but this time between four to six minutes, just until the cake lace looks lovely and smooth. Now you can leave yours white, but I'm choosing to have a black bow. So I now add some completely edible, roxy rich, black edible dust powder. It's very strong, it's super black. I add a small amount of this and just beat it in until I get the desired color I am after. All I do now is simply spread the cake lace I've just made over the back of the mantilla mat. I've taken the pattern away that is to one side. But if you don't have any cake lace mats, but you're wanting to make a cake lace bow, you can simply just use a piece of baking parchment and just not, don't have a pattern on there. Very easy. So I place all of the mixture onto this mat and then I smooth it all out. And finally, before I leave this to one side to set, I add the ready-made cake lace that I did in pink. Now, remember what I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial. Due to the colours I am using, this ended up being more of a metallic silver. But if you were to do a white bow with this pink on top, it would work absolutely beautifully. You now need to leave this to set Mine took just over 24 hours. As soon as the cake lace has completely set, it will come away from your mat with ease. Just be gentle with it and I simply pull this away. It's now time to start making that beautiful fabric bow. I start by trimming off the excess just around the outsides of the actual pattern I have used. You then need to cut this into four equal sections. You will have enough to make two bows. 
I then trim off two smaller sections of two of the long pieces. We need three pieces for the bow in total. Taking the medium piece of cake lace fabric, I start by creating a small hem on either side. I simply fold this over and then just placing a small amount of water on my finger, stick it down. Taking my cake lace, I then simply twist this around once in the centre and again using a very small amount of water, I just glue this into place and start to shape it a little more with my hands. Taking the much smaller piece, I simply scrunch this together on either side. I start this by folding it just in the centre and then I just bring up the edges. Again, using a small amount of water just so this sticks together. For the larger piece of fabric, simply repeat what we did for the medium piece. So we want to start with a hem, so fold over each side and then just stick this in place with a very tiny amount of water. Now simply take one end of the bow at a time, scrunch it in the centre and then just add those ruffles by scrunching it up. Repeat this for the other side. Place both ends directly in the centre and then you want to squeeze the bow from the back. We're now going to stick this directly on top of the medium bow, the one that we twisted at the beginning. So again, we're using a small amount of water, placing it directly in the centre and also squeezing at the same time to allow the cake lace to stick together. So this is what we have so far, and now we just need to add that little center piece that we made. So I place this on the front, bring it all the way around to the back, and then squeeze really tightly. Again, using a small amount of water, just to make sure it's in place. We now use some rolled up baking parchment, place this in the center, of both sides of the bow and then I simply add this to the oven at 50 degrees centigrade until it's completely set and you can literally tap it just like I did at the beginning of this tutorial. Very effective, quite simple to make, so much fun and will look absolutely stunning on your celebration cakes. Happy baking, guys. I really do hope I've helped you again today. And I'll be back soon with more new, completely free content.